Hi guys, Dr. Rob Barrington here with some more nutrition advice. Um, I'd like to talk today uh, about uh, creatine monohydrate, um, but I don't really want to talk about the uh, athletic uh, effects that it has. Uh, I really want to concentrate on some of the newer uh, cognitive effects that have been found um, to result from supplementation. Uh, creatine is a, a peptide that's produced endogenously in humans. It's produced from glycine, methionine uh, and arginine. Um, it accumulates in skeletal muscle. About 95% of the body's store of creatine uh, is found in skeletal muscle. The rest is found in, uh, for example, hair. Uh, it's found in heart, in the heart muscle. And it's also found in the brain. But 95% of the creatine is uh, in the skeletal muscle. Um, it forms uh, in the muscle it forms uh, a substance called uh, phosphocreatine and phosphocreatine is really a, a buffer to the depletion of ATP uh, what that really means is that when you have high levels of phosphocreatine um, you have a higher ratio of ATP to ADP uh, and ATP is the energy currency of the cell uh, and that means that the cells have uh, more energy so if your skeletal muscles have more energy uh, they have an ability to put uh, more force output for a slightly longer generation before or they become depleted of energy um, and uh, studies in the 90s um, were done uh, initially by uh, a group at Nottingham University including um, Paul Greenhalf and they discovered that if you take a supplemental creatine monohydrate you can boost skeletal muscle lev uh, levels of creatine uh, and that increases phosphocreatine stores which increases uh, the energy within uh, muscle cells. Uh, now, research was very interesting uh, and it caused an explosion uh, in uh, other creatine research and creatine has been found to be uh, a very effective dietary supplement for athletic performance. Um, it's it's a, a very worthwhile supplement to take. Uh, it's been shown to be safe. It's been shown to be effective uh, and it's very cheap now. So it's a, it's a worthwhile supplement taking. It's about the only supplement that will give you drug like effects. They are uh, almost instantaneous uh, and they are very pronounced in some people. Um, more recently, um, creatine uh, monohydrate has been researched in terms of its ability to cause uh, improvements in, in cognition. Um, and the reason for this is the same uh, reason that uh, you find in skeletal muscle because it accumulates uh, in cells uh, in the brain uh, and this increases their energy capacity. So in the same way that it, it boosts the energy uh, in skeletal muscle, uh, remember I said at the start that uh, creatine is also found in the brain and the heart uh, tissue uh, and it has the same effects there so studies are now looking at creatine uh, using um, about five grams a day which is what you might use if you were taking creatine for uh, athletic events after you'd um, initially loaded uh, on a higher amount um, taking about five grams a day has been shown in studies to uh, improve uh, cognitive performance um, and that's interesting because other studies are, are starting to uh, have a look at whether creatine may actually uh, be beneficial against certain uh, neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease. Um, and there has been uh, evidence that um, creatine does actually help people with these types of neurodegeneration. So um, there's a lot of information coming out uh, on creatine and how it can uh, affect the brain. I just thought it was worth putting together a, a small video because many people aren't aware uh, that creatine does have other beneficial effects uh, in the body. Um, there are other physiological effects that have been uh, observed, uh, but it mainly falls into two camps, the effects of creatine monohydrate supplementation. Most people uh, are aware that it's a, a beneficial supplement for athletes and it's particularly beneficial in those people uh, who perform high intensity exercise such as weightlifters, uh, particular athletes that, uh, that, that only perform their event for a few seconds, for example 100 meter sprinters, um, um, shot putters, uh, javelin throwers, uh, these types of explosive events uh, they benefit uh, most from creatine monohydrate supplementation but there have been uh, studies that have looked at uh, endurance athlete, athletes uh, and other types of, uh, uh, of sport and, and they found benefits for creatine as well so creatine has this very well researched uh, uh, very uh, good it's a very efficient dietary supplement for athletes uh, but there are these other studies now that are looking at uh, the health effects of creatine monohydrate uh, particularly with uh, reference to uh, uh, cognition and, and mental function so it's worth having a look uh, what whether you might be able to benefit from uh, supplementing with creatine um, 
there are no real uh, side effects from taking creatine other than uh, if you take too much of it you tend to get gastrointestinal cramps uh, there's been a lot of studies that have looked at the safety of it and there's been no real data that shows uh, that it has any detrimental effects uh, it's still recommended that you cycle uh, periods of taking creatine um, but if you're taking a lower dose uh, athletes take quite a high dose uh, initially and then they they try and maintain that dose within the skeletal muscle if you take a, a lower dose for um, cognitive uh, benefits you may uh, be able to take it uh, 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 over the long term um, it's a it's a it's fairly cheap now as well and you can buy buy it in bulk off the internet and it's very uh, it's you know it's, it's got to the point where it's uh, it's it's virtually given away with with other supplements sometimes because it's it's so cheap to produce um, so it is worth looking at it um, how would you take it um, it doesn't mix very well uh, with water if you have it as a powder uh, it mixes a little bit better if you warm the water up um, some people don't absorb creatine very well uh, and they require a carbohydrate drink of something like grape juice to be able to absorb uh, absorb it and, and get it into the skeletal muscle but there's been fewer studies on how to boost levels in the brain um, can you get creatine from your diet do you have to supplement with it well if we look at the distribution of creatine in humans we see that 95% uh, of uh, the creatine is in skeletal muscle and that's the same for uh, animals as well uh, and therefore if we want to get dietary sources of creatine we really need to eat uh, the skeletal muscles of uh, animals and that means eating meat and meat is the best source of, of obtaining uh, creatine in the diet. Um, how much creatine can you get from meat? Um, studies have shown that you can get gram amounts from meat, um, possibly two to five grams if you eat a lot of meat. Um, but there's obviously the uh, associated calories uh, and anything else that uh, you would intake with that high, you know, a high intake of meat. Uh, maybe you can't afford that. Uh, maybe you just don't want to eat, uh, eat meat. Maybe you're vegetarian and you can't eat meat. Uh, and that, in that case, uh, creatine monohydrate supplement uh, supplementation would be uh, obviously the best option. Capsules are available as well as uh, powders, uh, which makes it slightly easier to take. Uh, and if you're taking a lower dose, that might be a better way to go. Although obviously, uh, the capsules are a lot more expensive than the powders, like they are uh, for all supplements. Um, so what's the take home message from this? Um, creatine is a good, uh, possibly showing good uh, effects uh, in terms of uh, improving people's cognitive ability. Um, healthy people could take it to uh, improve their cognition if they felt that that's uh, something that they wanted to do. Those people uh, with neurodegeneration uh, could consider taking it. Certainly there are studies that have looked at that and shown that it does benefit them. But obviously do your own research, uh, be your own scientist, to decide whether it's going to be beneficial to yourself. Work closely with a nutritionist or a doctor in order to be able to get benefits from it. Um, and obviously, uh, with everything, uh, if you do find that you do get any side effects like gastrointestinal bloating or uh, any of the other uh, effects that have been noted like stomach cramps, then you should obviously either lower the dose or stop taking it. So have a look at creatine, research it uh, on my website uh, and other sites. There's a lot of information out there uh, and a lot of it's quite interesting. So I would recommend that you go out and you read about uh, the cognitive effects of creatine monohydrate.